Hello and welcome Taurus. It's wonderful to be here again and to go on this journey with you today. Let's take a look at these images. Let's dive into your subconscious, into your creative mind for a bit and we'll see what insights are unlocked. Remember to freely associate the images as you see them and how the image speaks to you. Um, you connect the meaning that you see with your question if you have one um, or a life circumstance that's happening right now. And you may like to write your discovery down to reflect on later or you might like to share them in the comment section down below. And I will be choosing one person from the comment section next video and I'll be drawing a card for you at the end of the reading. So let's take a look at your first card. Beautiful. So we have unicorns here. So there's a sense of magic, magic happening in your life. Maybe it's transformational because of the butterflies as well, or a lot of change happening uh, in your life in some way. That's what I'm associating it with. Unicorns are magical and there might be a sense of that happening uh, in your life at the moment. Almost a sense of, you know, things might be going a certain way, um, but there's a lot of unexpectedness that's there. You're not quite sure about something. Maybe there's some curiosity, um, but there's still hesitation. There might also be a sense of this change, transformational space that you might be in uh, is no accident, you know, and it might actually bring some major improvements. Uh, if you can see that now in the future, you might be receiving great blessings or an improvement, major improvement to a certain situation that you're involved in. How do you see the butterflies as this positive change for you? Have certain situations in your life been a bit magical to you lately? Also, we do have two butterflies and two unicorns. So we could be looking at a partnership or togetherness, connectedness or something along these lines. Definitely affection here between the two horses. Maybe there's another butterfly down here as well, actually. So, yeah, butterflies all around, transformations and change happening all around this, this couple or uh, you just might resonate with this um, as yourself, one of these unicorns here. So it's totally okay if you associate an animal with someone that you know. It might be uh, reminding you of them or they just come to mind. It might be a gesture that the animal's doing that reminds you of someone. Or you might be associating them with aspects of yourself. Okay, so we have more horses here. So perhaps with the two cards, we've got horses so the horse may be an important symbol for you. Perhaps you have horses as pets, look after them, or uh, you're a vet, or you know you work with them in your job. So it might resonate on that literal in that literal space. When I look at this image more closely, we have um, a group, obviously, and they're all looking here add something so there's a maybe there's a focus here but one of them is definitely smaller maybe this one here is in focus more so there's a focus on this one particular person or a focus on you if you associate yourself with this horse and maybe there are some backers here backing support people other people involved in the situation but you're front and center hmm Okay, so we have a baby here and two adults. So there may be a parent-child communication dynamic. You might resonate with the parent or with the child. Of course, when there is a little one here, this might also represent your inner child. 
and you're parenting your inner child or there's a sense of having um, uh, healing associated with this aspect of self. It might also represent the dynamic between elders and people that hold knowledge or they're more informed or they have more experience compared to someone who does not. So in some situation in your life, is there a, a circumstance where you are either the teacher or you're the learner, the beginner, uh, you're kind of looking to others for support or looking to others that have more experience for guidance. You might feel drawn to the trees, um, the continent of Africa. You might uh, feel drawn to the giraffe as an animal it may have a specific meaning for you. Okay, so we've got the owl with its wings spread open and wide. It's almost like it's coming into land on this platform here. So I'm associating this image with coming into land. You've taken flight, you've done something or you're choosing to go in a certain direction mentally, emotionally or physically. And you're coming into land here on this platform. So something may be coming to a rest or a standstill after a lot of flurry activity, busyness. It's interesting, it's a triangle. Hmm. Do you sense that when the owl lands on it that it's stable? Or do you feel that it might topple to one side? Is there instability in some way? happening that you might need to be aware of or do you feel that it is completely solid depending on which one you feel which one you sense that's a message from your subconscious and you know there might be something you're needing to look at if it's unbalanced okay so we have the wolf looking front and center looking directly at a person or a circumstance. Um, yeah, looking directly at it, not shying away, not looking away, not carrying away, being very direct. You know, it might be resonating in that way for you. Maybe there's a directness that's needed or that's happened. Or you're looking, you're uh, looking adversities in the eye Maybe there's just an intense focus on something that you want in your life. Maybe a desire, a passion that you have on your heart. What are you looking at here? If you feel that this is your, where you're at in some way, what are you looking at? What is this focus intensity, this intensity of focus on? Okay, so we've got two birds here. They're both looking at something together. So again, I could associate this with a partner doing something together, seeing the same vision. There is a lot of yellow up here. So brightness, success, happiness, and joy. The circle here. Well, this is, yeah, it kind of looks like the sun. The sun is shining brightly on this partnership, togetherness, contract, agreement, um, relationship. You might just associate yourself with one of these birds, though, and that's totally okay. And maybe there is not another person or something else uh, going on. Maybe that's more in the background of your mind or in your life. Also, we have this beautiful flower here that's also pointing to the future. Maybe there is an intense focus on what you're, the future or what you're moving toward. Um, yeah, having your eyes on the prize in some respect. That's what it looks like to me anyway. 
If you would like to share your insights and your own personal interpretations here and what it means, it might also be very helpful to others. So you can share in the comment section below if you would like to. Now, before I finish up today, I'm going to be drawing a card for someone who commented last video. And this person is Lisa Spencer 3245. This is your card, lovely. Okay, so we have two birds. So again, we have this um, association that I'm seeing as a partnership, romantic or business or professional. Someone may be looking to the other person a lot. So you might be looking or relying on someone a lot if you're associating yourself with this bird and what they're doing. Or maybe you are um, the one that others are looking up to. Perhaps you have the more uh, experience or someone is paying close attention to you. So, yeah, that's that's kind of what it looks like to me. Is there some kind of agreement or, you know, we might also be looking at this as um, a situation where there's you need to take some step forwards, uh, some steps forward here, uh, because they're not moving, they're not in, they're not walking. So perhaps there's a sense of needing to take a step off. It kind of looks like a rock here. Maybe they're thinking, should I take a leap of faith? Should I jump? Should I go for it? Kind of looks like a water here in the background. Maybe there's water over here, but they're yeah, maybe there's a step forward that needs to be taken in some way. But I'd love to know your insights and what this uh, what this means for you personally. Well, it's been wonderful to go on this journey with everyone today. Take care, stay blessed, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.